Today on SETC, we have a My Little Pony Equestria Girls Minis compilation featuring all three of our dazzling customization videos. We have Adagio Dazzle, Aria Blaze, and Sonata Dusk. So, let's go ahead and have a look at our Adagio Dazzle video first. Welcome back to SETC. Today, we're going to show you how to customize a My Little Pony Equestria Girl minifigure from this into this. So, we're going to need a few things first of all, so let's get to it. So, first of all, we're going to need Pinkie Pie. We're going to then need Rainbow Dash and we're also going to need a Fluttershy we're going to need Rainbow Dash's body for Adagio Dazzle's body we're going to need Pinkie Pie's hair for Adagio Dazzle's hair and Fluttershy we're going to need to use her face now all we're going to do with Fluttershy is paint over her face with Adagio Dazzle's skin colour you can use Rainbow Dash or any of the other ponies you want, however the paint will go over Fluttershy's face a lot easier than these. You're also going to need some paints, some paint brushes. So first of all we're going to need to take the heads off all the dolls. So now we have the heads off all the bodies, we're going to need to take Pinkie Pie's hair off of her head. You will need an adult to help you with this. After a few basic coats, this is what you'll be left with. And this is the front of her hair. As you can see, we've done one basic coat on the face. We've removed the eyebrows. All we'll need to do now is repaint the eyes to make them purple and put on her makeup and eyebrows. And then give it another coat of paint. And this is what your body section should look like after a few coats of paint. With the arms, we've had to use five coats of skin cord paint as the arms were initially blue. The same with the torso section here. It's already starting to look like a Dagio Dazzle. So, all we'll need to do now is give it one more coat of paint on all these sections and then do the fine detailing. So this is what your Adagio Dazzle face should now look like. As you can see we've got the mouth, we've added the eyebrows and the eyeshadow around the eyes and we've repainted the eyes to match her eyes from the film. And as you can also see we've used a toothpick to do the pendant on her chest as well. So. All she needs to have done now is have her hair glued back on. So the back of your Equestria Girl mini head 
you'll have this slot here. Just put some glue in there. You can use just regular super glue. And just put a little bit on here as well. There we go. Just give it a nice firm push. And then, as you can see at the top of the head, she has this slot here. Just put some in there. Like so. And then we have this bit here. Just put a little sprinkle on there as well. And then just push them both together like so. And now that we've glued the hair together, all we need to do is give the figure a coat of sealer. So just take a brush and brush it all over. Only apply a very thin layer to all the parts of the paint. And there we have our awesome Adagio Dazzle custom My Little Pony Equestria Girl figure. Let us know in the comments below if you liked this and if you're going to give this a try. And if you have any My Little Pony Equestria Girl customs you'd like to show us, upload them to Instagram and tag Surprise Egg and Toy Collector. We'd love to see them. Thanks for watching SETC and we'll see you next time. So now you've seen how we created our Adagio Dazzle custom. Let's show you how we created our Sonata Dust Custom. Welcome back to SETC. Today, we're going to show you how to transform your Twilight Sparkle Equestria Girl Mini from this into this. Yes, that's right. We have created Sonata Dust from the Dazzlings. So we're going to show you exactly how to do it right now. So first of all, we're going to need a Twilight Sparkle Slumber Party Mini. We're also going to need a Rainbow Dash Mini. And we're also going to need the skirt from Applejack. You're also going to need some paints as well, paint brushes. Once you've got all your equipment ready, what we're going to need to do first of all is take the skirt off of Applejack. You're going to need to take the head off your Twilight Sparkle, like so. And we're going to need your Rainbow Dash. Now what we need to do is remove the hair from the Twilight Sparkle head. You will need an adult to help you out with this, as you'll need something to actually pry the hair off of. That will also be the same for Rainbow Dash. Once you've removed both sets of hair, you'll be able to reattach Twilight's hair to Rainbow Dash's head. So, let's get to it! And this is what your body section should look like after about three coats. So as you can see, we haven't painted Rainbow Dash's shorts as Sonata's skirt will cover these over. We've made sure to colour 
the rims of her sleeve and collar a different colour to the actual top. And here we have the hair pieces as well colored. We have one coat already painted on Applejack's skirt. Now we've had to trim a bit of the skirt off, otherwise it will not fit around Rainbow Dash's body. So now we've trimmed a piece of it off, it will fit around like so. As for Rainbow Dash's face, we've actually used nail polish remover to remove her cutie mark. And after a few more coats and some fine detailing, this is what Sonata's body should look like. For the bands around her arms, we've used the Rainbow Dash figures bands, painted them purple and put blue dots on them for the spikes. For the buckles on Sonata's top, we've just simply painted them on with blue paint and blue highlights. And the same for her pendant. Now unfortunately we couldn't do this on camera as it was super fine detailing. But this is what your body section should look like. Here we have the front of the hair and here we have the back. So as you can see we've painted the streaks to meet in the middle, we've painted her bobble and the streaks in her hair. We've also, as you can just make out, painted her eyeshadow which was a pale blue mixed with some green just around both her eyes. So we're just going to use some normal super glue and glue the hair pieces together and then she should be ready to go. Let's get to it. So all we're going to do is put some super glue in the back of the head like so. Just attach the hair on so we'll put a bit on the hair as well. There we go, and then we simply want to put a bit inside this part of the front of the head, and then just put this piece in like so. There we have Sonata's head finished. If you do want to seal the paint on your figure so it won't chip as easily, you can do so just by painting on a thin layer of paint sealer. And there we have our awesome My Little Pony Equestria Girl Minis Sonata Dusk. Let us know in the comments below if you liked this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let us know if you're going to try this as well. Thanks for watching SETC and we'll see you next time. And there you have it, a full tutorial on how we created our Sonata Dusk figure. So let's move on to Aria Blaze, the final member of the Dazzlings. Today on SETC we're going to show you how we transformed our Rainbow Dash Equestria Girl Mini from this into this. Yes that's right we have made the final member of the Dazzlings Aria Blaze and this was such a fun figure to make. So we're going to show you how we did it and what we used right now. So we'll use Rainbow Dash's body as a base, she already has a jacket on, so as you can see just here. We won't need a head so we'll remove Rainbow Dash's head and use for another custom later. Instead we'll use an old Twilight Sparkles figure head which we've got laying about. All we'll need to do is remove the hair and then we'll need to make an entire new hair section from air drying clay. So let's go ahead and make our Aria Boys custom. 
So first of all we're going to need to use some air drying clay just to mould Arya's hair. We're going to use an old Applejack hair piece as well to mould the clay around. And this is the finished head after the air drying clay has dried. And these are the two pigtails for Arya's hair that we've made completely out of air drying clay as well. So we're now going to be using acrylic paints to paint Arya's body. We'll be using different shades of purple and some greens. Some shades we will be mixing colours to use. And here we have Arya's body after two coats of paint. And we're just going to now give the arms a quick white undercoat. And here's our Arya body almost completed. All she needs now is some finishing touches.
and the fine detail in two Aria's face was done by Mrs. SETC. We're now just adding some green highlights to the main hair pieces. Here's the hair fully painted up, now all we have to do is glue the pigtails on. And there we have our Aria Blaze custom completed. As you can see we've also added some stars to her pigtails as well. And there we have it, all three of the Dazzlings finally finished. Let us know in the comments which of these three is your favourite and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching SETC and we'll see you next time.